Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a minus 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 4 to the power of 4 and we solve this problem for the values of a but here you remember one thing is that our a should must be a real number. So you see that this is fourth order equation which means that this equation has fourth root and now we uh, find all the roots all the real roots of this equation so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this 4 to the power of 4 in the left hand side and it will becomes a minus 4 to the power of 4 minus this is 4 to the power of 4 is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have uh, we again rewrite this equation as we write this a minus 4 to the power of 4 as a minus 4 whole square and its whole power is 2 minus we write this term as 4 square and its whole square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we need uh, to more simplify the terms and we have uh, here we use this nice algebraic formula x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y According to this formula, you see here the base of this term is our x, the base of this term is our y. So now we put these two values of x and y in uh, according to this uh, formula, we write our bar equation as first we have a minus b. Here our a is a minus 4 square. So this is a minus 4 whole square. This is the value of x minus the value of y is 4 square into a plus b again our x plus y so again our x is a minus 4 whole square plus y is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So now further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a minus 4 square minus 4 square equals to 0 and the second case is a minus 4 square plus 4 square equals to 0. So here we have these two cases and now we solve these two cases and we easily get the values of a. So first we call this is equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So now we can solve these two equations simultaneously and we easily get the values of a. First we focus on equation number 1 and equation number 1 we have we copy down this equation here a minus 4 whole square minus 4 square equals to 0 this is our equation number 1 and in equation number 1 we again apply this nice algebraic formula. According to this formula uh, we write uh, this equation as first we have x minus y so here our x is a minus 4 minus y is 4 into again our x is a minus 4 plus y is 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need to sum up these two terms and after adding these two terms it will be written as a minus 8 times this is positive and negative are gone and here we get a only and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write a minus 8 equals to 0. The second case is we write a is equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the value of a and we get here we move this minus a to the right hand side and we get easily the value of a is equals to 8. This is the, our first real root of the given equation and we have a is equals to 0. This is the, our second real root of the given equation. So these are the two real roots which we get here from equation number 1. And now we move forward from equation number 2. So uh, now we copy down equation number 2 here. It is a minus 4 whole square minus 4 square is equals to 0. This is equation number 2. Sorry, here this is a positive sign. Okay. So, in equation number 2, we apply here this algebraic formula. You know that if we have x minus y whole square is equals to x square minus 2 times of xy 
plus y square so this is the value of x minus y whole square and now according to this formula we write we expand this value here so according to this formula we expand this term as this is first we have a square minus 2 times of x y so here our x is a and y is 4 and plus y square y is 4 square plus this is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we have this is a square minus 2 times of 4 becomes 8a plus 4 square equals to 16 plus this 4 square is also equals to 16 and this whole equation equals to 0 and we have this is a square minus 8 times of a plus 16 plus 16 is equals to 32 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we get this is the quadratic equation and now here we check that is this quadratic equation has real roots or not. So we check the roots of this equation by applying the quadratic formula by applying the discriminant formula. So according to discriminant formula first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 8 and c equals to 32 and we state uh, the discriminant formula as delta is equals to b square minus 4 times of ac so in the next step we need to substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as minus 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 32 so we have minus 8 square equals to 64 4 times of 32 is equals to 128 so 64 minus 128 is equals to minus 64 this is the value of delta and you see here this value is less than 0 so if the value of delta is less than 0 this means that uh, this quadratic equation has no real roots okay it means that it has no real roots if it has no real roots so we will just rejected this case and if we rejected this case so we have only two real roots that is a is equals to 0 and a is equals to 8 so these are the two final roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos